Hello, Garrett Hennis here, and welcome to Kane Self Defense and Master Garrett Hennis. In this video, I'm going to showcase a different kind of self defense tool besides a cane. Sometimes in this video, I show different self defense tools that you can carry with you or use, or I show some improvised weapons that you can use. Well, today I'm going to put the cane down for a second and show you something I picked up recently. I thought it sounded interesting. I'm kicking the tires on it and giving it a run through, and I'll let you know how it works out later on. But I'm going to show it to you. This right here is a self-defense water bottle. Now, this is made by the Browning Company that also makes rifles and knives and stuff like that. So this is called the Black Label Tactical Gear from the Browning Company. And what it is, it's a self-defense water bottle. Yep, you heard me right, self-defense water bottle. Now, a lot of water bottles you can use to defend yourself, especially if you have those tumblers or those nice hard Yeti ones and you can smack somebody with it and stuff. Now, the problem with that is a lot of times they're pretty big and yes, you can hit somebody, but you can also, you're holding it kind of like this so you can lose it easily. This one here I found interesting, so I wanted to see how well this kind of holds out. Now, number one, I'll tell you what I like about it and I'll tell you one or two things I'm not that, you know, thrilled about. But this is kind of what it looks like right here. Now, it has where your finger grooves go, and it has a strap for your hand. Hand goes around the strap, fingers go around the groove, and your thumb goes right about here. Now, you're going to notice the top and bottom. This is a hard plastic, very hard plastic. And what they did was on the top that you definitely can unscrew easily, put your liquids in there, drink at them, stuff like that, and then recap it. Now, the top of this cap, and it holds the water really good. I put water, I've had water in there um, yesterday, and it doesn't leak out or nothing like that. So now you have a hard plastic top that's pretty hard. So you're going to use it as you would an impact weapon or impact tool. And then you're going to notice the bottom. Now, this will obviously support your water bottle and hold it up. But if you take a look at it, they designed it to have three bottom feet that are very pointy that you can also use as an impact weapon. So as you're holding on to it and you're drinking and somebody grabs you, obviously you can strike, come down on the collarbone, the head, the face, if they're reaching for you, you can hit those hands with elbows. Now that's just using the bottom part. If they're reaching for you on this side, you can come down on that finger area. You can also take the top part and simply shoot it into the throat, solar plex, face, ear, neck, right, stomach, groin, they're kicking, hit that leg. And now when you hit yourself, you obviously, you feel it, but not like when somebody else hits you. So I had somebody at work kind of get a little, you know, shot, and I was like, yeah, I can feel that. So it's definitely going to work. Now... This water bottle, they say it holds 16 ounces. Um, nah, not really. I think it holds about 14. Because I had a 16.9 water bottle in it. And I put it up and it definitely had still quite a bit of water left in it. So I think it's somewhere around the neighborhood 14, 15 ounces. Not, not 16. But again, the strap locks pretty good on your hands. I don't know, uh, you can, you cannot loosen or tighten this strap. So it's basically just like this. Now when you're holding it and moving around and striking fast, you have good solid areas to hit. And especially when you put liquid in it, it's going to be heavier and more solid to hit. And you're not going to drop it. You got, again, a spot where your thumb groove goes into and you've got where your fingers go. Now this right here actually had a, um, a decal that had the um, same thing as here, black label, tactical gear, but it wasn't attached that well, it kind of popped off, so that was one thing I didn't like. It looked really cool, and then, yeah, I can glue it in there, but when I opened it up out of the pouch, it just kind of fell off. <clears throat> so that made me think, uh, let's see how well it works. But I took it to work, and I wanted to, I wanted to use the water bottle. See how well it stood up, see how well it lasted, walking around. So as a water bottle, it worked great. My only downside was you're not going to get a full 16 ounces of water, so 
you don't, you know, they have big, tum bigger tumblers that you can put water in. Now, being the fact that it's smaller, it's a lot easier to, you know, to maneuver, easier to carry. And I hooked a carabiner here and had it attached to my bag. So, and this screws on, it doesn't pop off. So, it's not going to pop off your bag. So, you can use a carabiner here or a carabiner here and hook it to something. And I did have water in it, and it didn't put a lot of stress on this. Obviously, down the road, this probably could break, I'm pretty sure, if you put too much stress on it. Because that's not meant to put a carabiner. It's just meant to close your top. That's just kind of where I put it. The straps seem to stay on pretty good. I'm not test pulling them, obviously, because I think it's going to break. But as far as, like, a, you know, about a 14-ounce sport water bottle it does really well i even dropped it a couple times to see if it would pop open and stuff and i'm sure hit it good enough you're probably going to crack it like anything else that's a hard plastic but as far as striking yeah these things right here they're going to hurt somebody and the top it's going to hurt somebody so it's almost like you have a coupon you're coming in again someone's reaching for you you got this you just right into the throat area. Hey, you can gag them. You can use that same portion into the solar plex. Right into the face or collarbone. Coming down on it with those three prongs. Again, I can catch an elbow. I can catch a wrist with either end. The groin, right into the groin. So if you move, catch them in the back of the head with either end. So, again... It's called the Black Label Tactical Gear. It's, it's a Browning from the Browning Company. It went for $9.95. Now, I don't buy a lot of sports water bottles, so to tell you the prices of what's good, what's not, I can't tell you that. The fact that I saw it was considered a self-defense tool, it was a sports water bottle, um, I wanted to give it a shot, show it to you guys. You guys can make your own conclusions of what you think. I'm always looking at different ways to have self-defense tools, different, you know, tools for the toolbox, as they say. But again, what I do like about it is the fact that it is a little bit smaller than a big tumbler, so it's easier to carry, even when it's filled up with water, it's on your hand. It doesn't come out of your hands real easy. It's, you know, you just give it a twist, and you can get access to your water, put it back on, twist it back on, and it stays, and the water stayed pretty cold for, you know, not a long time, not like those Yeti ones. Obviously, those are designed to keep your hots hotter and your cools cooler. But it did pretty good on holding this. Now, hot stuff. I don't know if this can take anything hot. It didn't say that. It was called a water bottle. So I imagine if you put something hot in here, it may damage it. Don't quote me on that. But again, the Browning Black Label Tactical Gear Sports Water Bottle. Our self-defense water bottle. It was something interesting. I thought it was kind of cool. So I got it, put it into my toolbox of self-defense tools. And um, I, I'm still going to use it. I'm going to see how it, how it works when I'm moving around with it. It's light enough to where you can jog with it if you're jogging, carrying it around to the gym and all that. So you have access to your beverage. Not a lot again, but you have access to a beverage. Not to mention you have a self-defense in your hands and again you can do that with most tumblers you can hit somebody throw it at somebody freeze a water bottle if you want to but this is kind of made for striking i'll show it to you one more time before i sign off so just something you know show you guys what you guys think about other self-defense tools down the road besides having your cane with you Gary, Gary Hernandez, thank you very much, and I will see you guys very soon. Good night.